Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing awesome. This is my last Halloween look for this year. Um, this is a skeleton look and I know that I've had lots of people asking me to do it. Um, so this is my skeleton look. Probably too open on the sides, but whatever. If you would like to see how I got this, stay tuned. All right, so I am naturally very, very white, so I did go ahead and do my normal white foundation with my translucent powder on top. So next, we're gonna go ahead and outline the eye shape. I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay, the all-nighter black eyeliner, and I'm just gonna start to map out my general, you know, skeleton things so around your eyes and all that good stuff. Going up right over my brows, just going up a little higher than I probably usually would so I don't have to, you know, glue stick them. So you can do whatever you want with your brows. Just make sure they're relatively even. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now we'll go ahead and do the nose. So next we're just gonna go in and fill in the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black using a Clinique brush. We'll see how well this works. Whatever you can get it out with, because it's a small pot. As long as we get a kind of a black base, we'll be good. This is way better than using grease paint too. And it's gonna stay on so much better throughout the night if you're going somewhere with this on. Just do your best to get it as close to your natural lash line and uh, on the top and on the bottom as possible. So they aren't looking perfect, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. We're gonna blend that shit out anyway. So next I'm just gonna take my um, Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner. I'm gonna line my top and bottom waterline just so that everything is super black. I'm gonna take a matte black shadow. This one is from Wet n Wild. I'm just gonna take this and fill in all those black areas that I just did around my eyes. My Sephora Pro Smoky Shadow Brush in number 30. So just press this in all over. And I'm just gonna fill in my nose with this too. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. We can clean up these lines after. Make sure to get it all up in your nostrils. <sighs> so now I'm gonna fill in with that same black powder on my nose. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match um, in W1 Porcelain. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and get that on my lips just to newton them out a little bit more and then I'll put that white powder on top. And I still want my face to have a little bit of color because um, skeletons really are not white so I just wanted to make it a little bit more realistic in a sense. So now to kind of work on the eyes a little bit, I'm going to take my brush and just kind of start sweeping around the area. Making it a little bit gray, kind of soften these lines around here a little bit with whatever is left on my brush. So we're just gonna soften this up. So now we're gonna start on the teeth. I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Small Angle Brush in that same Wet n Wild liner. And I'm just gonna start to kind of draw out those teeth. Just take a little bit on my brush. I'm gonna try and follow the line of my actual teeth so that it looks true to my skeleton, to my face. Kind of look at your teeth and draw them from your teeth. I mean, really, in my, I don't want to bring my teeth out to here because that's not actually where my teeth are, so. So 
So now I'm gonna take this shadow and I'm gonna start drawing out my sides and my cheekbones are. I gotta connect it to my jaw. Pull this tooth up. Try and get them like relatively even. Draw that back down. I'm just gonna leave it kind of hollow in this part here. So I'm gonna take some black eyeliner of the All Nighter and just kind of outline that a little bit. Now continue to fill that in with black matte shadow and just kind of soften the edges. This may look like shit. Go around the eyes again. You can draw some kind of expressions. All right, so now with my black eyeliner, we're gonna go ahead and narrow down the jaw. So I have kind of a, a double chin, so we're gonna really kind of chisel this down. And blacken that up. And I'll be back when I finish the jawline. I'm gonna go in and just kind of take a little bit of this over my ears because skeletons don't have ears. Put a little bit of black into my hairline. So now I'm just going to be taking my Eyes Lips Face Palette, 190 color palette or whatever. Take this matte brown here and just start running this along the edges to kind of soften up this black and make it a little bit of a brown. Because bones are kind of brown, people. Get some brown over here. Alrighty, so I just continually took that brown shadow and I took it up all up on the sides. I guess my camera died. Um, I did take down my hair just to give me this final look. So this completes the look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you can do that at any time. I do lots of stuff. This will probably be my final Halloween look for this year. Um, I'm saving all my other ideas for next year. So happy Halloween, everybody. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.